Hey guys, this is Anthony Bo with The Shop Magazine, and I am at the SEMA show right now, catching some sun rays outside the convention center. Uh, this video is sponsored by Alliant Insurance Services. They offer packages to lower your shop risk and your cost of insurance. Right now, I'm fortunate to be joined by Murray Path of Path Designs. How's it going, Murray? Anthony, it's going awesome. We're here at SEMA, the sun is out, the cars are shiny, many of them. <laughs> Even the ones that aren't are really cool. Uh, you're going to hear some drifting out in the background. Hopefully that doesn't screw up our video too much, but it's Ford out there doing their thing, and it's right. a great week to be a car person. So right now we are a Path Designs sandwich. We are <laughs> between two of your vehicles. Uh, talk about uh, what you have going here at SEMA this week. Well, this week got a few things going. There's uh, seven cars that I've designed uh, that are here. Um, of course, we've got... Joe Holyfield's double agent. It's a 1974 MGB GT and uh, flared, widened road race, stuffed a coyote in it that was built by Roush with the uh, eight stack injection on it. It's a really cool car. Wow, and uh, what about right here? <laughs> and then right here, it's another wide body. This is really a wide body with a whale tail almost, but this is Byron Burnham's uh, 1976 Vega. And it started off as a Cosworth, so it's a little bit of blasphemy, but it was a a lost cause and he built an all steel uh, body kit for it it features an LS in it with a Hillborn uh, electronic fuel injection okay and if you guys haven't already figured it out there's photos of these uh, cars at the bottom of the story um, so did Murray, you take any pictures of Scraptona I did oh, that's yeah another wild what, one. what the heck is Scraptona <laughs> well that's Treadwear's uh, their wheels, their wheels are spinning all the time, the guys at Treadwear. They built some really outrageous pieces. That's a 69 Charger that literally, literally had been cast away. It was a parts car. It was a six-cylinder. Trees growing up through it. You know the whole story. But they resurrected it, found some fenders, found a uh, Plymouth, uh, what, Superbird nose, the Daytona rear wing. And so they built a uh, tribute to the big aero cars, but then they flared it. They put the wide five-bolt pattern wheels on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the little air scoops on the front fenders are made from Kawasaki motorcycle gas tanks. Wow. Uh, they've just had a great time with it, and that yeah. thing has uh, gotten a lot of wonderful attention. Right. So it's day three at SEMA. Credit to us, we're still standing. <laughs> uh, up to this point, Murray, has anything uh, jumped out and got your attention? What, what are some trends you're seeing? Well, it's a great year here at SEMA. I mean, Hot Wheels have been across the country looking for cars, and they brought them all here. Um, you know, the trends, uh, the wraps continue, the really cool patina stuff continues. Uh, I'm seeing some of the wheel accented color graphics that I like to think I started many years ago. That continues in the asymmetrical graphics. I love that stuff. Um, we're going a million different directions. It's great to see the unheard of body styles. You know, a couple of mid 70s era cars right here mm -hmm. uh, they're starting to emerge and get some love i mean there's a there's a pinto here there's a couple of vegas here um and so it's always neat to see things that you're not used to seeing so i love that sort of stuff and that's right. seem the place that you get all of that right so if you're not familiar path designs is headquartered in the detroit area um, murray talk about some of the special things that you do locally uh in and around detroit and yeah, uh, yeah, specifically with the uh, Detroit Auto Show. Oh, right on. Detroit Autorama is the big hot rod show Thank that's you. held yes. in March. Um, and I take over a pretty good chunk of footprint there, uh, which I bring together some of these PATH Designs portfolio cars that I've designed. You know, Weaver Customs are here with uh, four of their vehicles, two of which I was involved with. Uh, one of them will be at Vortex, mm -hmm. the crazy double supercharged engine, 53, 54 Chevy. Uh, re reverse mohawk in the hood. I mean, the thing's crazy. They'll be there with that, but I take over a footprint, and I think we might have up to 10 cars that I've designed that will be on display. Wow. But while we're doing all of that fun and promotion, we like to give back to the community. So sure. I reach out to Forgotten Harvest, which is a food rescue, mm -hmm. and we give away $40,000 in gearhead prizes, all for a $2 ticket. Oh my goodness, and, and you've raised more and more every year, right? More and more, and we give away more and more, and the shop is a big part of that. So I really thank you for, for getting the word out about it, printing our press releases, and then coming and supporting the show and all the shops and builders that are there. Yeah, thank you. How long have you been doing it now? It's been five, six years with the charity fundraiser. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've generated 
I think close to 200,000 meals for the hungry. Wow. Uh, in wow. doing that. Yeah, that is awesome. Well, Murray, you're always a busy person. You do a lot of things in the industry. Tell me about why coming to SEMA is something you do every year. Why is it important for you? Oh, boy. It's important in so many ways. The networking and the people that you meet and the relationships that you strike up and all the things that, okay, so you work hard all year to do what you do and then you bring it here and it gets recognized and then you recognize other people who are doing that hard work too mm -hmm. and you create synergies and uh, it's just it's truly a great community that comes together there's a ton of passion I know that word gets thrown around all the time mm -hmm. but it's true it's absolutely true right those who you can tell when there's passion here in the industry and passion for whatever it is a Vega, an MG, a Camaro, late model. I mean, Chrysler, holy Moses, thousand horsepower. That is awesome out right. of a crate engine. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's passion. Those engineers, those marketing people, they have passion. Right. Uh, so you have very unique designs. Uh, it's your design is recognizable. Um, t tell me what inspires you in, in designing the cars you do. Well, that's a great question. I appreciate you asking that. Inspiration and the passion, uh, obviously, it, it starts with the owner of the car. You know, why would you build Scraptona? Why would you build Vega Racer? Why would you build any of these cars? Because they have a connection with the owner. So that's where the seed starts. You know, and you, you got to find out why they like that car, why they're building it, why they're spending this time and this money. And then that is what you build upon. Right. Uh, th that's the seed that starts the whole the whole thing growing. And then from there, you never quite know where that tree will branch out to. But it's always a wonderful journey to be a part of. Right. Uh, for shops and builders who might be interested in collaborating with PATH Designs, what do they need to do? Uh, they need to just give me a call, shoot me an email. Uh, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook. PAF is a little bit of a funny name, but it's P like Peter, and then F as in Frank, A-F-F, designs.com. Uh, we're out there. Uh, just uh, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, because um, I love to hear about everybody's projects. Good deal. Well, Murray, thank you so much for taking some time with me and, and getting me out of the convention center and getting some sun. Yeah, we're going to have to get some sunblock on today. Yes, but, uh, I know you have some too. So. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate you doing this. Awesome. Thank you.